Trico just released an awesome update and they have updated the rack. This is for people who want to do automation uh, in make.com or any other third party software and you want your AI to be contextually aware about your documentation or about your business information. You can add large files so that uh, the AI can retrieve information when you pass a query. So uh, it will help you with uh, more uh, precise answers and that is custom based on the uh, document that you provide. So this is a great update. So let's check out more here. For those of you who don't know what RAG is, uh, you don't have to complicate it. It's just a knowledge base where uh, the AI actually extract relevant information and pass it and get a complete compiled the full form of rag is retrieval augmented generation which means you are providing your own uh, data it retrieves that information and uh, AI is more knowledgeable about the information that you have given and you can expect a much better response and the cost is also very low if rag is because you are not using the already provided context uh, window of the ai for example if you take the gpt4 uh, it's around 128k token so if you add uh, uh, 70,000 words of documents to it then it consumes almost 90 percentage of its memory so you can actually go on talking with it for a long time and it will start to forget the information so in that case you can use rag if you are talking with a long pdf like long documentation or if you want to actually enhance functional awareness or memory of ai in both cases you want uh, to reduce the cost you can use it so uh, that's a small definition of rag uh, as you can see in this image if you take a look at it the uh, prompt and query is sent to your laptop and the query is sent and the information is searched from the generated knowledge base and that information is retrieved as the context for the LLM to process and the prompt plus the retrieved is going to the LLM to enhance its reasoning capabilities and once it has that context along with our query and prompt then uh, it uh, compile all that information and provides us back the uh, completed uh, in so that's what it means so why is it really great because uh, now you are not limited to the memory of your agents and uh, you can actually start talking with the chatbot with uh, can provide your own knowledge base uh, data document so what all uh, as of now uh, it supports pdf doc csv txt xlx and and uh, you can upload all these files and this is how the request and response will look. so i have gone through this api documentation and implemented uh, all uh, the necessary endpoints or modules that we can use in our automation so this help us really create more specific uh, response from the ai when you create agent we can give a custom prompt that means we can uh, control how the agent be for example if you want the agent to output in a specific format you can add that to this particular section here uh, in the custom prom and it will behave according that's the uh, main difference between an agent and when prompt uh, right. now, uh, in this prompt we can actually talk to the document that we created and understand what that document is about and create response based on the provided document so uh, that's the two different uh, implementation uh, that's new to uh, api so far we'll create a rag so in order to create a rag uh, let's create this new rag uh, for this example i will say like, youtube uh, example and uh, name it description and i have already connected uh, my dropbox for the file to be uploaded uh, if you want to know what that file is let me just open my dropbox to give you some context uh, this is the document that i have uploaded this is some uh, basic functions uh, related to make.com so i have that doc here and as you can see uh, this is that particular document and i am using a download a file module from dropbox to connect it to the create a rag uh, the chunking method can be uh, based on the file that you have uh, prop uh, you can use uh, this is the fixed size is the uh, default one you can also play with the uh, size of the chunks and uh, the overlap that you want uh, to give the context these are this is technical keep it as default uh, it should work fine and i have given the uh, example description 
yt example as the rack name and yt description as the description just click on ok and if you just run this it is cut this so let us run it now it's creating that particular x uh, with uh, so we have the uh, rag url here and the full response is also here so please note that the name is provided as yt example uh, this is the youtube example and youtube description and the file name is the make functions docx uh, so once we have created the rag uh, if we want to see the list of rags then we can use this uh, module it will list out all the rag all you have to do is just click on uh, run this module and it will restore all the racks that I have created. As you can see, I have nine rack here as of now. And uh, these are the latest racks that I created. And the last one is uh, the one that is created now uh, with the name IT example and IT description. And you can see all the uh, other details uh, related to this rag as well. So always remember the rag ID is this one uh, with uh, well uh, underscore and ID. So, Please remember that because this is the most important information that we need to pass to the uh, next module. So that's how we list out all the racks created by us. And if you want to get a specific rack uh, from this list of racks, then we can use uh, get rack by ID. If uh, I actually recommend you start with this module uh, since it will have all the information about the rack and we can pass that information to our uh, next mode in an automate once you have uh, successfully created the rag so uh, in order for this to work we need the rag id as we discussed before and in order to get that rag id uh, let's stick with the yt example that we created this one is the rag id i'll just copy this rag id here and just paste it just click on ok and let's just run this to make sure that we have the correct rag id and as you can see if you look at the data it's the same uh, yt example and yt description and uh, the make function documentation that we created before for this particular x now if i want to delete that rag it's easy we can use this one for that this one also would require us to provide the rag id i was again I list some more racks and let's delete one for this example uh, this one like uh, the uh, the name is make and make function and uh, let's take this i also have a similar one like this so i have named it everything the same so in order to make sure that let's just remember it's 2457 so let me just copy this and give this information here and I just run it once and as you can see the rag is successfully deleted. so 2457 should not be visible uh, if I run the same so 2457 and let me just run this uh, list rag again and see if uh, 2457 is visible as the first one and as you can see uh, it's not 2457 so that is deleted and uh, we had nine before right now we only have eight so that means uh, it's working correctly and the final the most important one uh, this is the prompt rag completion uh, where uh, we can prompt the uh, rag id and uh, the prompt and we can also select any llms that we want for the for this example i will select uh, gpt4 and uh, let's get the rag id the one that we created for this one and the yt example so this is the rag id that we want and let's prompt it and ask what is this about so uh, as we already know this is about the make function so the response should be like it should be something related to make i am not giving it any other information other than the already created knowledge base for this uh, but agent to work with. so let us click on ok and just run it and see uh, what it comes up with and as you can see uh, the context provided is an overview of data can be organized and stored in programmatically specifically focusing on array and collections so that means uh, it has got access to the uh, make uh, documentation the that we provided earlier and you can also see the file name uh, that it took 
and the references from it got the information from so uh, that's how it works that's how you prompt use the prompt rag completion module and we will talk about agents in another video uh, that i will have in the end cards uh, if you would like to check that out and if you want to uh, get this custom map uh, i'll have that in the description below and as of uh, today uh, straco is on a lifetime deal i don't know how long it will be available but uh, i'll have that link in the description as well so anyway uh, thank you for watching and have a great day